Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for the best real estate podcast online. It is time for Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with Mike and Dave Elkins presented by Elite Realty Group. Today, so let's talk some real estate information every week. We like to give you some real estate information and we do that. Here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to give you some tips, seller tips, right. to improve the odds of getting an offer on your home. Now, as always, here's the disclaimer. This is nothing more than our opinion. Right? It's just little ideas. It's just ideas, opinions. It's not legal or financial advice. Consult the proper people in those professions Which is to give you that. <laughs> We're just sitting here giving you our opinions because we like you guys. I'm right? a professional real estate agent. Absolutely. That's exactly right. So, so we're you giving, consult me. We're about giving you a question. our opinions here today. So here we go. So here's seller tips, all right, all right, to improve the odds of getting an offer on your home. There's one thing right. that we have talked about for a year now. Tell like, every time Tell we talk about that. sellers, we talk about this. But would you agree, before I even give this, this is like major, man. This is major important to hear. If they don't hear anything else we hear today, we say today. Yes. It's, this first one's pretty critical. This is what I like to call a no-brainer. Yes, absolutely. It, and if you don't know the definition of a no-brainer. <laughs> this is it. That means you have to have no brain. <laughs> and it will make sense to you. This is it, right? Yes. So here we go. So this is it. Here's the number one tip to improve your odds of getting an offer on your home, no matter if it's a big one, little one, in between, it's brand new, or it's been built for 5,000 years. I wish we had a drum roll right now. Yes. Here is that tip. Here it is. Make sure that you price that home correctly according to the market that right. you are in, right? That's just like a mic drop. Just mic drop it. Walk off right there on the mic drop. Yes. The price. There's two things that sell houses. Yes. Price and marketing. Price is that major. Simple. Because price takes out if it's not in very good shape. Right. As long as you price it right, you can still get an offer. It may be right. an investor. Yeah. Maybe someone looking to do a flip. Maybe someone looking for a house they're going to fix up and do a rental. Or if it's a brand new house, right? right. If it's priced correctly, you're going to, the odds, the odds, that's what we're talking about. So I'll stick to script here. The odds of getting an offer, if it is priced correctly, just literally do major things for you getting yes. that offer. I mean, you, you hear it all the time that people say, I, I would I would be interested in selling my house, but I got some stuff that I need to do to it. Right. And I can't afford to do the sure. work to it. Right. So I don't know that I could sell it. Yes, right. you still can. Yes. You still can sell Absolutely. your house. If you're looking to, if you're wanting to sell your house, you can still sell it, but you got to price right. it accordingly. And you know, the other, price thing, it right. the other thing that I want to say about pricing, Hello, Lori. all right, the other thing about pricing is, is we're not by any means sitting here telling you to cut the bottom out of your house. That is not what we're saying by price it right. Right. How many times? This happens more than you would even imagine, okay? A matter of fact, I just did a CMA 20 minutes before I come on this show, which is a market analysis, that a house that we're potentially, we're going we're gonna to try to help the people on, they had it on the market four months ago, okay, for about $15,000 less than I'm going to recommend them to put the house on for right. right now. Now, here's what I'm saying. Price it right. If you don't price it at market value, you're losing money. Right, you're losing money. You would be surprised at the people that we see that have not priced their house enough. Right. Not not too much. Right. Enough. Right. That you get maximum value. The market we're in right now is changing so rapidly mm -hmm. that you've literally got to look at data from yesterday. Yes. To see, am I right? Because right. the prices in the Lakeway area are going through the roof. So, We've uh, seen that yeah. for, a, for a while now. Just last month, maybe a month before last, something like that, there's some clients of mine, Ashley Williams, she watches our show all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she she was just so excited with, with how I helped her sell her house. Right. She had tried to sell it for a year. Hear this. Had to One try, year. She had tried to sell it for a year. Yes. I finally let she finally let me list it, uh -huh. and we sold it in four days, right? For twelve thousand more dollars than, than she, she was trying to listed. sell it for for a year. Now think of that. That's why yes. we're saying price the house right to make sure you're getting the most amount right. out of the house that we can get. Every time you talk price, people think you're trying to cut them. Yeah, we're not trying to cut here no. at all. Okay, <laughs> we're trying to say get what you can get. It's a good market. Okay, now right. in the same breath, don't overprice it. Right. Okay, yeah. 
but get the maximum. It's very value. important to do what you just said. You yes. did a market analysis. It's yes. very important. One hundred percent. I mean, it's it's a tell all. One hundred. It will tell you what you need to sell it for. Yes. So you want to if improve, you go by that. Go if ahead. If you'll go by that. Mm-hmm. Your house will sell. Absolutely. It'll sell. Absolutely. So you want to improve the odds of getting an offer on your house. First thing is make sure you get it priced right. On the other hand, if you got it priced too low, sometimes people think, well, it's priced too low. They got to be something wrong with that house. You know what I'm saying? Something's got to be wrong. Something's got to be happening with it. So that's where, again, use a professional. Use an appraiser, right? Use somebody that does the values of these homes to make sure that you get that right. Now, that's just a tip. It's yeah. just a tip, right? Let me, let me tell you what Lori just said. Lori okay. just said, that's me. I want to sell, but do want to do a few things. Roof, flooring, some paint, maybe new countertops. Right. She said, great location off Panther Creek. Yes. Again, that don't mean you can't sell right now. Lori. That's right. And what I would suggest for people that's like Lori in Lori's situation, have somebody, have a professional, have an agent, have a realtor come through, look at the house, and say, okay, here's and let 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 that person tell what they're going to do because yeah. sometimes you will spend more than you can actually recoup back out of it you're better off to sell it and move well, again i'm going to say this just even about the roof this is one we get all the time the yeah, all the time so again a, a house a lot of times people think i'm gonna put a roof on mm-hmm. and then i'm going to be able to recoup that money that's not the case a lot of times so right. again you might want to talk to somebody right. to see if that's an option because when you buy a house it's supposed to have a good roof on it right oh that's, that's what a lot of people think right you know what i'm saying and right. if, if it doesn't then they want the conversation which right. is that's what right. we're talking about here today right right the price as long yes. as the price is right everything goes so great comment Great right. comment right there by Lori. Great comment. So, again, make sure you get the price right. That's tip number one. What do you got tip, tip number, number two? Tip number two. Okay, this is, I, I think These this is. just tips. Yeah, it's just a tip. Right. Yeah. But it, it's, uh, to me, this is a good one because, again, you, you we hear this a lot. Mm-hmm. But clean out your closet. Take half the clothes out of your closet. So, again, don't have I like that. winter, fall, you know, right now we're still in summer clothes. Now, I'm, I'm, can I put a little asterisk on that? Yeah. Especially if your if your closet is cramped. Well, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah. You got room, leave them in there. Right. But again, that's something that every buyer is going to open your door and look in your yeah. closet. Oh, if they think they don't have enough, if you don't have enough storage space, mm-hmm. I can't even get all my clothes in here. Your house just got the yes. X. And what we see when we show houses to people, okay, when, when the agents go out, they show houses. We find that people look at things like those closets, all right, like some other things that we may take you through today, some of these tips. And the reason we're telling you to do these things is they may love everything about your house Mm -hmm. and disqualify your house because they're thinking, I can't get my clothes in the closet. Right, right. So take half of the stuff out. That's a great idea. I mean, it's mindset. Yes. It's it's a mindset. Again, you've heard me, if you've watched the show any amount of time, you've heard me say, they got to get that feeling. Mm-hmm. So, by you having a stuffed closet, mm-hmm. you know that's going to be a negative to a lot of people yes. because again, everybody's got more than you got. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When they're looking, they're, yeah. they're yeah. looking. Yeah, I've got all kinds max. of max. Yes. So, but it just gives you that look to where hey, you got plenty of closet yeah. space here. When you they say you've got a you know plenty of room, plenty of room to hang more clothes mm-hmm. in their mind. I do too. That's exactly right. I do too. They but if you're stuff, their stuff. Them. Yes, I agree one hundred percent. So that's number two. Again, we're giving you tips today, seller tips to just say it improve your odds of getting an offer on your house. The first one is price it right. Second one is take out half of the stuff, your clothes in your closet to give that bigger appearance of a closet. Here's number three, all right? Number three is put your personal stuff, I'm talking about like all throughout your house, Mm -hmm. okay, that maybe you don't use all the time. Maybe there's things on the kitchen counter that you love. All right, we're talking about brownie batter. (laughs) Maybe there's a good mixer there that you mix everything up in that you only use. That's used twice a year. That's what I'm saying. Put your personal stuff especially in the kitchens and the bathroom, Mm -hmm. put those things away for exactly the same reason as what you're saying. Right. They see more counter space. They see, oh, I've got room to put my, you know, whatever. Versus if the counters, especially in the bathrooms and the kitchens, are just full, then if they've got one thing that you don't have out, 
Right. They're thinking, Lord goodness, where am I going to put my toast? Yeah, I ain't you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was, I was where am I going to put yeah. that? So they look at it, and there's that disqualify. Yeah. Where again, that's just a mental thing that happens, right? That's mm-hmm. just something mental that goes on. But again, little old tip. There's little things that again, because we go through and see this all the time. Right. That we can give you these little tips, which is what we're trying to do today, to help you improve your odds of saying, I want this house. And we say this a ton, but you you got to keep this in your mind. Yes. Your house is competing. Oh, Lord, yeah. So I just if totally got that you thing. don't clean your countertops mm-hmm. off right. and make it look as spacious, clean out your closet, the next house that they're going to may have. That's right. That's right. Who's going to stick out? Right. That's a, that's just some things you got to look at. We're not saying any of this will stop your house from selling. Uh, and again, people are usually when a uh, buyer shopping, you very seldom do you see that there's a broad range. But most of the time, I'm pre-approved for one seventy-five. Mm-hmm. We're looking at three one seventy-five houses today. Right now. So it's not like they're going to go look at your one seventy-five house. And go look at a 275 that's going to just automatically be so much bigger. Right. Most of the time, they're looking apples to apples. That's good info. So everything is yep. everything is going to be, and it's going to be uh, yeah. emphasized a little bit more. Absolutely. That, that's great info. Great nugget that you can have there. Remember, as I was going to say here just a minute ago, we're just giving you some tips to try to improve your odds, all right? Because, again, it is highly, highly competitive. Hello, Karen. It is highly. Hi, Karen. Glad you're with us. It is highly would you agree competitive in the market that we're in right now so these little tips it could be literally taking one little tip of this and applying it to your house that's that autumn that helps you be able to get that offer right now that's three last one what do you got last last one one? this is this might be one of the hardest ones i think to do i think it is is to keep your emotions out of it yes so a lot of times people do you have you have memories that you've made in that house Maybe it was your first house. This is my first house. You've made a lot of memories there. Your kids has grown up there, and you got a lot of emotional, sentimental value to it. Right. But you got to take your emotions out of it and really look at it as a business transaction. I agree it's a with business that. deal. Yes. If you really want to sell your house, now again, that's not us saying you got to give it away. No, please don't give. By it away. no means, no. that's not saying you got to give it away. No. But that's just saying that's the way you got to. That's the way you got to keep it in mind. Yes. Is that this is what I I got to sell this. Right. Especially because more than likely you're going to move, be moving somewhere. One hundred percent. But it just keeps your mind a whole lot more clear mm-hmm. about. I mean, and then again, you got to keep of it. You got to think of it as this is going to be for the new people. Right. I wanted to make it as uh, free of whatever for them. Right. Maybe this is going to be their first house. Right. Let them come in and make their memories. And a good example. Can I give a good example of that? Like our emotions. This is this is again stuff that happens. Somebody sees your house. They want to put an offering on it. They do put an offering on it, right? And they get some kind of inspection or. They want to put an offer in it, and the offer is a little bit lower than your price. And they justify that offer by saying, well, if I buy it, I've got to paint the bedroom. I've got to put new carpet in it or whatever, whatever. Right. And you look at it and go, what's wrong with my bedroom color? What's right. wrong with my carpet? Right. That's where our emotions get in. You right. know what I'm saying? If it's right. good enough for me, it's good enough for me. True story. But it's not that somebody's throwing off. They're yeah. just saying for their taste, for what they want to do, this is some things that they look at and they say, I want to do these things. Right. But sometimes our emotions will say, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with my carpet. And right. it will keep us... Right. From wanting to try to help out the person that's going to buy the house. Oh, yeah. It's going to pay for 30 years for it. You agree with that? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, again, that's letting your emotions sometimes get but into But emotions do. Like I said, it plays a big part. Oh, you yeah. see that a lot. It is emotion. You know, it, it is, is emotion. Emotional. Especially, like I said, if people's been there. Yes. You know, if it's a, you only been there a couple of years, maybe there's not. Right. But, you know, a lot of times it was a, even you see it as in. People, when they inherit houses, like if they get mom and dad's house, right. you know, a lot of emotions there, and yes. that plays a lot on their mind about them really wanting to let it go. I agree. So you got to try to really try to take yourself out of that situation. Mm-hmm. Be clear-headed. Right. It's a business deal. I agree 100%. So that is some tips, 
some seller tips we wanted to give you today of again improving the odds. That's all we're going to say. Improving the odds. This isn't going to disqualify you. This isn't going to get you one. Right. This is going to improve the odds of getting your home today. The first one was make sure you price it right. Second one is take half your stuff out of the closets. I love I love that one. The third one is put your personal stuff, personal taste, get those out of the way, store those things away. And the last one is keep your emotions out of it or in check. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To the best that you can do that. We thank each and every one of you for listening to today's podcast. Tune in for future episodes by subscribing to our channel and get the latest and greatest real estate information right here on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Until next time, have a great and blessed day.